What should one consider when buying on the Oaxacan coast in Mexico? Hello everybody, my name is Peter Poljan from Poljan Properties and today we have something just a little bit different for you. As you may recall or you may have seen, I do some traveling down to Mexico here and there. The last time that I was down on the Oaxacan coast, I had the chance to meet up with Kevin Canaco from Bayside Real Estate. And today he's going to give us some helpful tips as to some of the things that you might consider if you decide that uh, buying in Mexico is the right thing for you. They do it a little differently in Mexico where you don't necessarily have an attorney, but there's a notary that you work with. Could you describe the difference there for uh, potential buyers who might not know the difference between you know, a real estate attorney versus a notary in Mexico? Absolutely. Well, in Mexico, notaries are government appointed and also to be able to become a notary, you have to be a lawyer as well. So you're already dealing with with an, an expert that's a lawyer. So sometimes, and they have, they actually have more power to third in, in authority in Mexico than lawyers do. So overall, um, sometimes it can be a waste of money hiring a lawyer as well. It's kind of like you're paying double, if that makes sense. Um, it's typically, I mean, notaries are very busy over here because the amount of work they have, especially in this area, but usually they can help you just as well, even more than, than a lawyer can. Well, that's helpful too, Kevin. I um, I guess the only other thing is, you know, I know we talked a bit about, you know, what people are drawn their are drawn to uh, Virtuos Candido for specifically, but maybe you can give us a little insight as to, you know, what else might be, uh, you know, uh, an attraction for folks. I know surfing is a big deal. The sunsets are incredible on the Oaxaca mm -hmm. coast. There's, you know, I guess it's a destination for design now. Maybe you could talk a little bit more about what that means and what that looks like. Mm -hmm. Well, Oaxaca has a lot to offer. Um, location's amazing. We're on the south, Southeast Pacific. It's a very low risk hurricane zone. Also, the weather's very consistent. We're also known for our amazing cuisine, um, whether it be the coast or the, the valley of Oaxaca, where Oaxaca City is, or the Itzmo. We have very interesting cuisine and very elaborate and diverse. So people are drawn out here for the food, the weather, and the art as well, the culture. Lot, we have lots of um, tons of different languages here in Oaxaca. I think it's the first or second state in Mexico that has the most indigenous languages. So it's very rich in culture. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, Kevin. Thanks for your insights today. I really, really appreciate it. You taking time out of your busy schedule. If you have any other questions regarding buying in Mexico, the Oaxaca coast, and if there's anything else that we could answer for you, please don't hesitate to direct message me, call me or email me. I'd be happy to put you in touch with Kevin. Again, he does a, a great job down there and looking after his clients. So we'd be thrilled to refer you down to Kevin. Uh, thank you again, Kevin, for joining us today. Thank you, Peter. I appreciate it. Y'all have a great day.